Hello and welcome to another exclusive review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK and Las Vegas online, and we thank you for tuning in today for our exclusive review of Dick Whittington at the Bristol Hippodrome, a gorgeous theatre and a fantastic production by Kudos. It is, of course, the Palladium set, albeit scaled down. No amount of set, though, is ever going to compete with a star in pantomime, and this year... Bristol has Shane Ritchie, who is an infinite, who is a brilliant entertainer. He's compelling and he's fantastic. And this is the Shane Ritchie show. Curiously, though, there are a few things odd this year. Uh, having seen him last year in Robin Hood in Milton Keynes, which was a five star show. This year, he doesn't seem to sing very much. The big numbers of Kudos are given to someone else. And his right-hand man, Peter Piper, doesn't do impressions or as much in the show, which is weird. So there's a vibe about the show, which is a bit strange. However, let's start with the positives. The flying boss, which was used at the Palladium, is a stunning illusion for the kids. I mean, it doesn't get better than that in Panto. This is a five-star bit of magic. There's one bit that I don't like, which is the huge rat that comes out. I know why they're doing it, but scaring kids and making them cry never, ever works for me in pantomime. And it's beyond my comprehension. However, what I do have to say about this pantomime that I am thrilled about is that you can see this show from £13. That is amazing. When you consider that in Birmingham they're charging £53 for the cheapest ticket, that is incredible that you can get in. Now, having said that, there are £57 tickets available, which is absolutely preposterous for Panto. But nevertheless, at least there are options from 13, 19, 25, 37, 42, 50 and 57 pounds. I think Panto is way overpriced now, especially by Kudos in these ATG theatres. Most tickets are 37 or 42 pounds in the stores, which is ridiculous for pantomime. I don't know what's going on. I applaud them for having some cheap seats, though. That is fantastic and rare. Pricing is a major issue. Is this the best show Shane's ever done? I don't think it is. I think it's partly down to the fact that Dick Whittington isn't the best pantomime. I think we prefer Cinderella's or Aladdin's or even Jack and the Beanstalk. But Shane does shine. If you like Shane, it is the Shane Ritchie show. It's all about him. So if you're a fan, you're going to love it, which we do. If you don't, I would give it a pass. And again, just looking on Friday this week, the cheapest tickets in the stores are £32. So it's a five-star pantomime at £13. It's a three-star musical at £50.50, to be perfectly honest with you. There's something lacking in this production. It's obviously not on the scale of the Palladium. It was never going to be. But something's changed in the dynamic with Peter and Shane, which is strange. We should give nods to Jenny Dale, who has a lovely voice and is hugely imposing. That's the part that was played by Dawn French at the Palladium. But of course, as I say, nobody is going to come close to Shane in this. It is driven purely on his energy. You've been listening to another three and a half star review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.